everybody and welcome to my first episode of Rags to Riches. I thought I'd do something different, some possibly where we go around a lot more teams, a lot more countries, destinations, see what other leagues play like as well. And the idea is to be stay at one at each club, probably about two to three seasons maximum unless we get sacked of course and we start from the very bottom and as you can see before you my profile oh I am currently unemployed I'm looking for a job <laughs> so you know so like I said here I am my uh, profile I've, I've got no training badges my reputation's dire my stats are all on the low side uh, I couldn't get them all to ones because apparently you had to use all your stars up so you had to allocate so I Added one to one more to adaptability, to determination, man management, and tactical. I don't want to go in there without any knowledge whatsoever. Right, I've loaded up every um, European league on and taken out all the um, first divisions and second divisions. So we're going trying to go for the lower ones if possible. So excuse me, because I don't know what countries or which at the moment. So we've got Ukraine, Sweden, is that Slovakia, uh, Scotland, Romania. Uh, Norway, Northern Ireland, Hungary, Germany, Denmark, England, of course. Want to try and avoid England if we can, but, you know, if a job offer comes along, I'm going to snatch at it. Uh, there's quite a few teams in Romania, uh, Northern Ireland, Hungary. Uh, there's one in Germany, though, which I don't, I don't mind having a go at. But I want to do something a little bit different. Uh, Romania. I've never managed a team in Romania. or Slova Well, in fact, I've never managed a team outside the UK, so... <laughs> so anything is possible so what we're going to do look at each one i suppose what there is at the moment reputation one and a half star it's a possibility don't want to manage any of the other teams capacity twenty five thousand. that's good oh so it could be a short league a short season which deals quite nicely must be no more than three foreign players in the playing 11 wow and only players registered for the competition yeah trialist rules no trialists allowed to play matches crikey uh, minimum of four players trained at the club for a minimum of three years. Squad registration. Are these the only players that have got? What is that? Eleven, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Not many players on there, is there? Right. Uh, Swedish second division. Galloway Mamberets. Mamberets. Okay. Uh, they're in the second division north possibility that it's what 26 games so it's another short season again finances are okay and their reputation is virtually as dire as what ours is so there's a possibility there we could go over to sweden which i quite fancy actually slovakia samorian uh second division wow they've got a lot more players on there 250 pound a week 15 30 games that's pro that's assuming we are playing people twice 30 games play each other twice okay that's fair enough uh first place eighteen thousand. serious offense ban information wow transfer window okay that's fine wage rules nine to five pound per week minimum wage for full-time plays 17 years and up so that's the minimum you got to give them wow so you can't have anybody on a no, no contract. That's that's going to hamper a few things, isn't it? But the finances are okay. They're one and a half star as well. Albion Rovers of Scotland. Mm, do I really want to go to Scotland? They are in League 2. Uh, finances again okay. Reputation one star. Uh, there we go into the remaining. They're all in the second uh, division. Cluj Metalogolubus. Try saying that when you're drunk. Um, Petrolul... Polesti, yeah. Okay, Romania looks um, okay. <laughs> Finances insecure. Not an ideal place to go to them, really. Insecure, but they've got a lot of people and a lot of money. Uh, they're kind of dipping. But two-star reputation for that team, though. Maybe a bit of our league, maybe, at this stage. Uh, overall, Finances are okay there for the Metalo Metaloglobus Bucharesti. Okay, Liga 2 in Romania. Um, one and a half star. That can work. They're on the yacht. Yeah, Petrolul Plesti. Okay. Uh, again, oh, they're on there are quite a few. Who's this guy? Do we know anything about him? Not a jot. We probably won't do either. He's 23 years old though, so that's not too bad. Have they got all youngsters in there? We don't quite know. Norwegian. Arendel. 
Right, what are their players like? So, Rage from from Zero. Oh, there's somebody on nothing there. Willie Pepper. <laughs> what a name. 31 years old. Northern Ireland. I've not managed a team in Northern Ireland, though. It has to be said. Fourth in the Blueprint Sport Championship. Are there any other divisions in there? I've got a Premiership. Development leagues. Oh, they're the under 20s. Okay, they have got quite. Don't know. Is that another division? But that is a championship, so it's the one off then, isn't it? Dark View. Oh, that that was the one in there. Mate, um, I'm not even going to try that one. Mosum Magiaravari. Wow, it's a bit of a mouthful. Oh, so finances are okay. Reputation one and a half. Uh, over a hundred years old, which is nice. Nice, good reputation. They've been going for a while and they've just slid off the radar, haven't they? But they are in the second division, the Hungarian. Just out of interest, how many teams are in there? 1938. Wow, a long season there. A possibility. Fortuna Köln, that Germany, third division. Could go to Germany for a few years. We'll try and win some trophies as well along the way, get our reputations up so we can just. Uh, carry on and what we're going to do as well we're going to go through these seasons very very quickly as well from playing fm18 last year on one team and managed to squeeze in 10 seasons we were trying to do more than that in this uh this save finance is secure okay but again two-star reputation it could be well out of our hands that one hik oh danish shall we go there dizzy heights of the well, i don't know what league that is is that the League above phase two, second seventh in the Danish second division preliminary phase group two finances are okay very poor stadium condition that's not great is it synthetic no it's synthetic ten thousand capacity that's well, that's okay finances are okay I mean it's one and a half star I mean it's a possibility we could, we could get that but possibly not uh, who's the other team in there TPI again they are on new york um number of the matches 22 games everybody plays each other twice um match rule da, da, da. promotion b teams are not allowed to be promoted fair enough one match ban after 19 points one match ban after the next 17 you get a one match ban for every additional 16. what so of course hemel hempstead in england um what are they like finances are okay and that's a possibility because <laughs> they're one star nice so what we're going to do we're going to reply to all of them and um, roll it on a, a week or so and uh, we'll come back and we'll have another look see if there's anything doing hopefully we'll have a few in interviews oh right we have got our first job interview it's in Denmark it's TPI and they are offering a job interview we've had quite a few unsuccessfuls Virtually everybody else, apart from these guys, who probably look more desperate than I am. And to be perfectly honest, they're at the same level as I am as well. So it's a possibility. Uh, they on the, are on the climb. The stadium's about average, uh, a thousand capacity though. But it's a stepping stone. We can uh, we can do something here, I think. Uh, but we'll have a look and um, let's attend this interview. And we'll go through it together. Right, attend the interview. Hi, we've invited you along today to, so you can put forward our vision of the club and allow you to suggest any alterations for us to consider should we decide to hire you. Oh, I'm glad. Thank you. Okay, right. Position our 11th. Reputations. Okay. <laughs> uh, local reputation finances are okay as well. You have never managed a club here before. Well, a club you have never managed a club team before why is that and why should i overlook that fact i simply haven't been in management that long but it's something that's always been near to my very top of my ambitions as a manager I have hope that my reputation and standing in the game would be enough for you to overlook everybody has to start somewhere i haven't managed a club yet but i'm desperate to get started i don't think really you want to say that i've been waiting for the right opportunity to take my first step into club football I admit that it will be a risk to take me on without any club experience, but I hope to convince you that it's a risk worth taking. If you believe in the right person for the job, uh, my lack of football experience shouldn't matter. So it's the toss up then, I've been waiting for the right opportunity to take my first step into football, and it's, uh, or the top one, I simply haven't I simply haven't been in management that long, but it's something that's always been near to the very top of my ambitions as a manager. 
Uh, I've been waiting for the right op um, options, I think. Can you explain why you appear to be in the running for a few jobs right now? I'm just trying to forge ahead with my career by any means possible. I'm merely considering my options. I don't think it's unreasonable number of clubs to be talking to. I admit that it doesn't look good. Do you want me to withdraw? Well, I haven't exactly uh, got any interviews, so <laughs> right now that's nobody's business but mine. I'm merely considering my options. I'm merely considering my options then. The club is looking to hire a manager comfortable working with limited resources. Are you that manager? I know I'll be able to look after the club's finances if given the job. Well, if you see my other saves, I don't look after uh, finances that well. I try, but not very well, and I don't tend to succeed very much. Um, I guess I'm in for a challenge then. I'm looking forward to it. If we all just focus on playing forward, everything else for uh, I know I'll be able to look after the club's finances if given the job. Is there anything which you would like us to judge you on before you are appointed as manager? I would like to be allowed to play possession place football. I would like to be allowed to play direct style, be allowed to play attacking, be allowed to play defensive, allowed to focus on set pieces, sign a number of high profile players, which if you look at the right hand side, uh, they are opposed to signing high profile players. That's probably because they can't afford to and they don't like signing young players for the first team either. I would like to be allowed to sign a large number of youngsters who will play in the role in the first team again. They don't like signing young players. I would like to be allowed to develop younger players and bring them through. I have no facilities that I would like to be judged on if given the job. Uh, yeah, I would go with that. We are currently out in the position to set any expectations for you to meet. Expectations of budget will be laid down in the run up to next season if you are appointed. I understand. Let's move on and cover any other areas that need to be discussed. Do you have any requests for us to consider then before we decide to hire you? Should we decide to hire you? Oh, I thought they were going to give us it straight away. I misread it. If hired, I'd like the board to build a new stadium. I would like the board to buy clubs current... Oh, do we not own it then? If hired, I would like the club to improve the club's training facilities. They're okay. I have no requests, I don't think. That's all of the questions we have for today. We'd like to thank you for attending this interview and we'll be in touch once we've decided on the new manager for the club. Once again, we move along. TPI approach me. Oh my God, they're asking me to work for free. I can't work for free. I'd rather not have the job if that's the case. Um, what I can do, I can delay it. I'm not working for free. That's um, That defeats the whole thing. I want to get rich. I don't want to uh, plow myself into a, a job and work for nothing because it's not going to happen so I'll delay it and see what happens um, hopefully something else comes around but uh, that's disappointing right we have a couple more interviews Albion Rovers Dergview job offer uh, is that Northern Ireland Bluefin Championship is that Northern Ireland it could well be so they've offered a job what I'll do I'll go do these interviews and uh, we'll see what happens after that but we'll move along and um, if there's anything of note, then obviously I'll let you know. But we'll try and move this first episode along and, let's, and to a point where we can pick which jobs we want, I hope. Right, we have got another job offer. Dergview, £250 per week. So that other one can go. We won't be doing that one at all. They're giving us a year contract. Right, just have a look at Dergview, where they are. Ireland, so they are offering. We did apply for a couple of other ones, one in Sweden. In fact, I applied for a few in Sweden because they were sacking all their managers. So whether it's the end of the season there, I don't know. But there's quite a lot of going there. So, uh, well, the finances are okay. They're in a sports premier. Well, where are they? They're in the championship, so they're not not in the top division of Scotland, uh, in Ireland, should I say? And that's the top division. Uh, Ballymena, you got Cliftonville Crusaders. Okay, so is that the top one? So the championship is that one there. Uh, average stadium. Um, it, they're on grass, which is nice. Twelve hundred capacity. What's the players look like? Uh, they're all on free. Or not available, £100 per week. And they are offering me, what are they offering me? They're offering me about £250 per week. So which isn't bad, a grand a month, round about. They were in the Blue Sport Premier Intermediate. Been in there for a while, then they moved up to the Championships. The 7 away and the stayed, or oh, back down to Intermediate. 
them to championship third was the best place they've had and not quite reaching the uh, the first division so that that could be a target um, let's see if we can get into the first one first league and then possibly move on to another one when our reputation goes up and we get some training in there the finances say they're okay so we want to look to get some uh, training badges at least anyway uh, but 250 pound a week thing is do I want to Ireland or do I, I've applied for a few in Sweden this could be the one this could be the one for the time being so shall we delay delay for one week I think we can delay this we'll delay it see what else comes up and they do agree to delay so which is got to do view and who was that other club I can't remember now because they offered me nothing so that will be a no-go but third view is a possibility we have a job offer Albion in Scotland 475 pounds a week that's massive absolutely massive that is Albion at the minute they're in League 2 I don't know what to do you say money doesn't speak for everything but clearly does <laughs> I'm quite tempted by the Irish one though, to be perfectly honest. Uh, I think we shall. We'll delay this one as well, see what else comes along. I want to really, if we can, go further afield than round about England. So Scotland and Ireland doesn't really take me that far away. However, they do agree to delay. So we'll move on a little bit further. And uh, But the Irish one I'm more intrigued with. Because I've not managed a team in Ireland before. Albion, on the other hand, are offering me £200 more. So maybe we might squeeze a little bit out of them, but maybe not too much. And we don't want to bankrupt them straight away, do we? TPI, I'm going to walk away from this one. They're offering me nothing, so I'm going to walk away. It's not happening. We have another job in job offer. Gulliver Malbagrets. FF approach myself. Offering a one-year deal, £400 a week. And they're throwing in some other stuff as well. Promotion wage rise of 15%. And we've got a relegation wage drop of 35 Fair enough. Uh, so we could drop below 300 quid there. Percentage of club compensation required for managerial role, 90%. Okay. So is that really? We've got to pay them. That's not clever. But they are offering £400 a week. That's not bad at all, you know, is it? Uh, they are in Sweden. I am looking to Sweden because there's quite a lot of Swedish jobs out there. Um, they are half a star reputation. They're worse than what I am or probably the same. Uh, the finances are okay. Facilities, they've got a stadium count owned by the council though. Stadium conditions very poor. Synthetic, again, I quite like that. Are they all synthetic in Sweden? They're quite possibly. Because that's the second one I've seen, that's uh, or may possibly the third one now, um, that I've got a synthetic pitch. Um, what else is there? Youth facilities, very poor. Reserve state. Oh, they have got a reserve stadium as well. Junior coaching and limited youth recruitment. Okay, so we're not. So it don't look that great, does it really? But it could be a way of um, getting into the football manager and not expecting too much, I guess. Uh, senior squad what's that look like they are in the second division they are expected to finish bottom interesting 200 to 1 an underdog then quite like the idea of that and there's a possibility that these guys could be the ones I think why, why don't we just bite the bullet Album are offering Dirk View are offering turn down the one at TPI where they're offering nothing at all but £400 a week um, I can get on board with that. Absolutely. Pass winners. They've never ever won it, have they? Come close to anything? No. <laughs> that is very, very tempting. I have got a job interview from uh, another one. But I don't think... See? Who are they? They're one star rep. Probably slightly better. But you know what? I am tempted by this one. Sweden seems to be the place to be at the minute because there's a lot of sackings. Um, agree, promise to refrain from applying for jobs at other clubs. I didn't promise that. Keep director of football Kirsten at the club going forwards. I've not got a problem with that. Uh, no agreed board, no agreed ph philosophies. Fight bravely against relegation was the other thing. I think we'll take this one. We're going to Sweden, guys. I think I'm going to have this one. Shall we be greedy enough and ask for a little bit more? You know what? No. <laughs> I've been job hunting. 
I mean, this episode has been going on for quite a while. I'm going to take it. Done. I've off. I've, I accepted the job. Right, we are going to Sweden. We are going to Galeve Malbergets in Sweden. So, thank you guys very much for watching. I've not done anything like this before, so hopefully you'll get on board and uh, you'll help me through this, I hope. Right, with that in mind, if you want to see some more and new to the channel, please subscribe. Until next time, thank you very much for watching. Thank you. We've got a job.